Hello everyone and welcome to another episode from me, Abermance. Today, this is all about axolotls. Recently, I have been asked many times in my Discord about axolotls, facts, figures, all that kind of stuff. And I thought it'd probably make sense to make a little video to tell you all about the axolotl because there's an awful lot to learn. Axolotls are a brand new mob for Minecraft 117. And as is normal with brand new mobs, there are a few things that you can do with them. And that means that you can use them for farms and that kind of stuff as well. I'm gonna tell you everything I know about the axolotl. Let's crack on. Now axolotls do not spawn above ground like this. Axolotls will only spawn in a light level of zero below Y63 in water where there is a stony thing as the base of the water less than five blocks away. So deep slay or andesite or just stone. Only there will they actually spawn naturally and they could spawn as an adult or as a baby. Axolotls breed using tropical fish. So I'm gonna give him one and him one. And we got a little baby yellow one right there. And you can see it has taken on the color of one of the two parents. However, there is a one in 1,200 chance that there will be a mutation that makes it a dark blue axolotl. In Minecraft 117, dark blue axolotls could spawn naturally in the wild. But as of Minecraft 117.1, you can only get them from a breeding mutation. Baby axolotls take 20 minutes to turn into an adult axolotl, and at that point, they can breed. Now, you can accelerate this using a bucket of tropical fish. Every bucket of tropical fish you feed a baby reduces the remaining time by 10%. So if it's 20 minutes, it takes two minutes off. If it's 10 minutes, it only takes one minute off. Axolotls that spawn naturally can despawn, but if you catch it in a bucket of water, like this, and then you place it back down again, it will never despawn, it will stay there forever. So that is a permanent axolotl. Whatever color axolotl you catch is the color that you'll get when you place the bucket down. Axolotls come in five different colors. This white looking one is actually considered to be cyan. The pink one, which is called Lucy because it is short for leukistic, which is a lack of pigment in the skin. It actually happens naturally, but the pink ones are called Lucy's. Yellow, brown, which is the wild type, and this blue one here. Look, I couldn't get a blue one to breed. I tried and I tried and I tried and I couldn't do it. So just imagine, use your imaginations on this one. It's blue. Now, axolotls will attack and kill most underwater mobs. But if they kill a passive mob, there is a two minute cooldown before they'll attack another passive mob. So they're great for farms, but you do have to have a few axolotls in the farm to get maximum efficiency. Now, axolotls will attack aggressive mobs as well. If I get some drowned in here, you'll see the axolotls go straight for them. And the drowned do hit them back. And as a result, you can see, we've got regeneration going on in that axolotl there. It's pretending to be dead. The ground one is pretending to be dead. And then they come alive again and go back at the active mobs. Well, the mobs will not attack them whilst they are playing dead. The mobs are too stupid and they actually think they are dead. So why would they bother anymore? As a result, axolotls are a really effective mob to use against things like drowns and even guardians and elder guardians because they attack until they get down to less than half their hearts and then they pretend to be dead and regenerate another two hearts to go at them again. Now, while axolotls do attack most underwater mobs, they don't attack dolphins and they don't attack turtles. In fact, they're quite friendly towards them and they're not gonna have a go at them at all. That's probably just as well. The turtle attacks some killing and the dolphins, well, when they're in a group, they get quite aggressive. Unlike other underwater mobs, they will also make puffer fish blow up. And that's because the puffer fish know that they're a threat. That's not me making those puffer fish get big. That's the axolotls. Axolotls are not remotely bothered about flowing water. They will swim wherever they want to swim. It doesn't matter if it's pushing them. So you can't use these to transport axolotls. They are, however, affected by bubble columns. So you can get out to the surface quite quickly. Once they get there though, they do try and swim back down again. If you place an axolotl down on dry land, it will try and crawl its way to the nearest water source if there's one close enough. And this is because axolotls die on land if they're out of water for five real world minutes. However, they won't die if it's raining. Apparently, that's good enough to keep them moist. 
They don't walk too quickly on land though, so you better hope there is a water source not too far away. I think this fella's gonna be all right. Yep, he's happy now. But where axolotls could really come into their own as a tool is around these ocean monuments. And I'm gonna try and demonstrate why now. Now I have come here to this ocean monument. I've got my netherite armor and my sword, but I don't think I'm too confident of taking out all of these guardians plus the elder guardians because I want all of this prismarine and stuff. But the elder guardians are gonna give me mining fatigue and the axolotls can even help me out with that. So let's get my army ready. So my axolotl army is starting to swim towards the guardians. If I'm able to kill one of the adversaries that these axolotls are fighting, I've got a chance of actually getting the mining fatigue taken away because it will cure me of the mining fatigue. However, I do need to not die first, which is always a bit of a challenge. Axolotls not doing too much right now. They're kind of just uh, floating around the weeds. It'd be much nicer if they went and actually attacked a few guardians for me. I'd be much happier with that. I reckon it'd actually be a really interesting video to see how many axolotls it would take to completely take out all of the guardians in an ocean monument. If you fancy a video, something like that, then let me know in the comments below. I'd be very pleased to hear from you. Axolotls will also give you the power of regeneration for five seconds, which does actually help out a little bit with this kind of fight. It really is such a cool mob. I really like this Mexican salamander. Not only is it proper cute, not just in the baby form, but also in the adult form, but it's got some actual uses in the game. Squid farms, fish farms, going in as a party for raiding ocean monuments. And there's even an achievement being able to go in and fight with axolotls that you can add to your achievements list. I'm really looking forward to one day getting a blue one as well. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you enjoyed them, and I will keep on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.